Guys, what's up? I'm Brian Yan. Oh, wait, is this live? Oh, there we go. Hello, guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and uh, apparently we've gone live. That was a little confusing for me because uh, the thing just kept uh, glitching out. But we are going to talk about some Transformer Cyberverse toys. I'm just making sure that it is fine on here. It says no connection. To, uh, uh, tra oh, there we go. Let me turn down the volume on that so that I have a chat. So I can talk to you guys if I want to. Or maybe I could just ignore you entirely. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about Transformer Cyberverse. I figured that this would be an easier way. Plus, also, I wanted to work on a certain review for Halloween. And I didn't want to spend too much time making news videos. And I just very quickly wanted to catch up on a couple of news stories. I might do this with the TF Talk stuff, but I figured that this would be easier because it's not major news, I guess. And uh, if I mess up on this, it's not really a big deal. Uh, hello, Larkin's Lair. Hello, uh, Gojira Jr. Hello, uh, Parkster uh, Toa Vice and Alex Skinine and uh, Omega Maximus and everyone else who's joining the chat. I'm sorry if I don't shout you guys out or... Uh, or talk to you guys too much. Again, I gotta work on that review later, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. But anyways, we are going to talk about some brand new Transformers Cyberverse reveals. We had the uh, uh, the London Comic Con, MCM Comic Con, and we also had some reveals earlier in the week. I'm gonna talk first about the early reveals. We've got this one, which is a prototype Repugnus figure coming out. This seems to be maybe one of those, I wouldn't say the one steps, but maybe the the, I, I think they're about $30 to make a Slipstream, Shockwave, Optimus, and Bumblebee. Um, I, I think it's not the ultimate Ultra Class figures. This could be that. I, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, what I'm happy about this is, or why I'm happy about this is, we're getting a Repugnus toy. I, I'm so glad that Repugnus is getting his spotlight. And uh, I think this is a pretty cool idea. It is a very simplified toy. It does not look like it has any leg articulation, just ball joints in the arms, which is actually kind of surprising. I wish there was a little bit more to it, but the fact that we are getting a Repugnus toy, I think is pretty cool. Now, the reason why I had to scroll down to the forum for this TFW 2005 article, which I will link later on when I get the chance to, they didn't show the Repugnus image. The link that they have to the Facebook post uh, that they credit for the news has the Repugnus image, but the article itself does not. It's weird. Uh, apparently this is coming out February 2020, and uh, yeah, it looks decent. Definitely looks like Repugnus to me. Uh, I even like the little legs with the two toes. I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, moving along from that. A lot of images of Bludgeon. I guess they were talking about Bludgeon. Uh, speaking of which, here's Bludgeon, which looks like he's going to be maybe a one-step change toy. Now, despite the fact that Bludgeon is seen on the show itself, the version of Bludgeon here looks like he's based on the Robots in Disguise toy. And I find that kind of weird. Um, maybe not so much the robot mode, but the alt mode definitely, because... It's got the double barrel and it's got the sword on top, which was just meant for storage in the original toy. So I don't know if he can actually use that sword or if that's just a weird detail that they just decided to implement. But okay, whatever. It's, it's weird, but okay. Um, as far as the overall detail is concerned, it looks fine. It's kind of boxy, but as far as a one-step changer or whatever this toy is concerned, it's okay. Um, but it's not one of those highly articulated toys that I'm really into, so I don't really have too much of an opinion on that. And then we also got Whirl. One of the things that I like about this Transformer Cyberverse show is it really dives into some of the Transformers Generation 1 characters, and even some of the more obscure ones, even in Robots in Disguise. And one of the characters I'm glad to see in this toy line is Whirl. I like the bright colors with the cyan, the blue, the black, the yellow, especially with the eye. The head sculpt kind of reminds me of that IDW look, and I even like the fact that he's got a little shoulder cannon. That's pretty cool. He's also got one of the weapons that comes with um, uh, the original toy, which I think is cool. And seems to have some sort of claw gimmick. It, it looks like there's something that's supposed to move. Maybe it clamps the claw. Um, don't know what that motion was. 
But, uh, you know, it's decent. It, it's not going to be one of the sought-after toys for me. Uh, I have the Generations World to begin with. I like the aesthetic of this one a little bit more than the Generations version. It's a little more boxy, and I kind of like that. But it's not something that I'm likely going to get. And then right here, we also have Hot Rod. Now, what's funny about this is it seems to be the Deluxe Class Hot Rod. And one of the figures I predicted for the second wave was going to be Hot Rod. Uh, because we knew that we were going to get at least eight Deluxe Class figures for the Transformer Cyberverse toy line. Because when we heard about Shockwave, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, and Megatron, we heard that there was going to be a second wave to complete the parts for the Mac Adams Build-A-Figure. So I imagine that Hot Rod is going to be part of that second wave and he's going to include some part of Mac Adam. One of the things I really like about these toys as well is they also include flare effects that seem to, uh, as well, uh, can be used for some of the Transformers Siege and Earthrise toys. I could be wrong about that, but that seems to be the case. And Hot Rod seems to have these flame pieces that just attach to the side of the arms. It, it's not the most fluid look, but I do like how it, uh, how it looks in the alt mode. Um, the alt mode definitely lacks in some of those colors, but this could be a prototype for all I know. So I'm not going to harp on that too much. But it is missing the paint on the top. Really not a big deal, honestly. Hot Rod has this weird dark red over the flames that's painted on his chest and on the front of the card that just looks weird because the rest of him is just the normal red and then he has like this weird spot of dark red. I don't get it. It just it always looks off to me. Uh, from the One Step Change toy, the Warrior Class toy, and even the model in the show. I'm just like, why the hell would anyone do that? It just looks out of place. Um, but if they decide to totally scrap that, I'm fine with it because, again, I don't really care for it. Um, but yeah, as far as this toy is concerned, I think that this might be a Hot Rod that I might get, even though Hot Rod's a little annoying in the show. I think that uh, the one issue I have is it's kind of squared off on the shoulders and on the backpack, but other than that, it doesn't really uh, ruin the flow of the toy. I think that it's fine as is, and uh, I actually kind of want it. Now we also had an image of Megatron which we already know about, so there's nothing to talk about with that. Um, but that's not all. We also have the Transformers Cyberverse, what are these, Energon something toys. I, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, we have Ultimate Class, and then Ultimate Class, blah, blah, blah. But they're like some sort of Energon armor that you attach to the figures, or they flip out from the figure itself. I don't get it necessarily, but whatever. Um, I really didn't plan this out too well because I thought that we would get some smaller images. I guess you can go to TFW 2005 for the better images, but, uh, uh actually, let me see if I can just quickly get, uh, the smaller images. Um, let's see. Uh, no, that's not what I want to get. Um... <laughs> this is very unprofessional, isn't it? Uh, let's see. I'll go to Cibatron and see if we can find anything on there. Um, I want the smaller images that I can actually show. Uh, not those large, oversized image. Um, will this work? Uh, great, now they can't load. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. This is very professional, isn't it? Nah. Uh, let me see if I can go to allspark.com. Because I know there's a site where they have smaller images of these. Um. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Oh. Maybe here? Maybe here I can use it. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, we got a sight. All right, so here's the Optimus Prime figure. This is, uh, what is it, the Ultimate Edition figure, whatever it is. Um, it's, uh, it's stupid. 
I don't like it. I know that it's supposed to be a simplified Transformer toy, and it's definitely not for me. But I don't imagine myself as a kid really liking it, because it's got this weird aesthetic to it. It's, it's way too boxy. Um, kind of reminds me of, honestly, that Optimus Prime first movie gun thing that you would flip out and, and it would have the truck form and then you flip down and it forms the gun. I'm just picturing that with a robot mode and it looking like this. The legs are just together and it's a box that doesn't really do anything. The chest is too blocky. It's too wide. It sticks out way too far. His arms are fine. His head sculpt is okay. And he's not even holding his axe right. Who, ha who holds an axe like that? Um, I imagine that you can actually put it at the, the base of the handle or the middle of the handle. But as far as it's concerned right now, it just looks stupid to me. And then it's got this Energon armor that flips out because everyone wanted that. We already have these uh, Power Spark armor sets. I'm not sure what the point of this Energon armor things are. Like, if, if you're going to do something different with the Energon style, then that's fine. But why not actually do something different because we go from armor to armor I, I don't know it's just I don't really care for this I, I really don't great he, he's got this kind of fallen look to his head okay uh, and his alt mode did they even try with the alt mode uh, you can see the energon armor in the back which is like he's carrying it like a trailer okay but then his arms are right there what the hell is this? Um, if they wanted to keep the gimmick, that's fine. I, I wouldn't mind that much. But at least try with the truck mode? This is barely nothing. Wow, this thing looks like garbage. Anyway, Shockwave. Throughout the lineup, we've gotten some pretty decent Shockwave toys. And I think that's thanks to the alt mode, because you need the limbs to articulate for Shockwave to be decent. And because of that, I think Shockwave gets away with a lot of the toys actually being good. Uh, take, for example, the Warrior Class toy. Uh, some of the toys restrict a little bit of articulation for a gimmick, but with Shockwave, because his limbs have to be in a certain position and they're out of the way, um, Shockwave is fine. And throughout the toy line, even some of the simplified Shockwave toys seem to be okay. And then this guy comes in and ruins that whole thing. I mean, say what you want about the one-step changer. That thing looks a little weird too, but I, I kind of like it. This is just, I don't know. I, I might get it because I'm a huge Shockwave fan. I mean, I just got the G1 Shockwave now, so that's good. Um, but the laser gun looks weird too. Um, the armor flips around and it, again, kind of looks like... You know what? Honestly, it looks like the Spark Armor Shockwave because... He kind of had these vents on the chest that remind me of the Transformers uh, Prime Bumblebee for some reason. So, if you like that, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, and then there's the robot mode. Okay. Oh, he does have his laser gun. Okay, cool. Uh, I didn't think he would. Um, the torso just looks weird. He looks flat. He looks lumpy as hell. I like the fact that he's got the little skirt things on the side. Well, not skirt things. I don't know why I keep calling that. But it looks like he's got pockets on the side. That's cool. I don't really care for this. And it looks like the arms articulate in such a weird way. It looks like they go like this. So I don't get it. Uh, and then again, there's the power spark armor. I don't really care. And then there's the alt mode, and he transforms into a coffee table. Who designed this? I, I want to know who designed this, because this is... This is just a terrible job, in general. Again, I, I understand that they're kids' toys, but I mean, look at this thing. So, the legs rotate and bend sideways, and then his arms just do that, I guess. And he's extended out to be a coffee table. This thing looks ugly as hell. I'm sorry, there, there's no... 
I, I want to like it because it's a shockwave, but other than that, I don't really care. Moving right along, we also have Bumblebee, and these figures actually carry weapons, which is pretty cool. Despite the fact that they still carry that stupid Energon gimmick. Uh, this one has a couple of blades, which is uh, weird. It looks like the blades that Windblade has, so if you want to give her some blades, I guess you can get this figure. That's a pretty expensive upgrade kit. But uh, there's no paint on the windows, which is okay. I kind of like the styling of the black stripes. I, I think that's fine. Uh, the yellow pattern on the upper leg is actually pretty decent. But there is a huge lack of paint on the legs, on the lower legs, that kind of just sucks, it the, sucks any of the life out. The head sculpt is okay, but the mouth looks a little weird. It looks a little too big, but... I guess it's okay. And then the power armor thing actually kind of flows with the toy, in a way. I think it flows with the body, at least. So, it's not that bad, especially compared to the other figures. Uh, and then the alt mode looks okay as well. You know, it's, it, it's a car. Not really much to say. We, we've seen so many bumblebees for Cyberverse already that... What can I say about this? You know, it's a bumblebee. Ooh. And then we also have Hot Rod, and his aesthetic is pretty decent for the most part. He has a massive backpack. It looks like a brick. Um, actually, it looks like um, it looks like he's just carrying a, a poster board on his back. It's ugly, but the actual robot itself is not that bad. His arms have uh, these long panels attached to them, but I think they're okay. Uh, the paint work on the legs is much better. He does have that dark red, but I think it's used a lot better on this toy than uh, some of the other ones. And he does come with this crossbow, which is a pretty cool reference to, I think, Transformers Animated. So very nice jo uh, job with that. His head sculpt is also pretty cool. I really do like that. Uh, his Aaron armor is okay. I wish there was more flames to it, though. Like, you got a couple of vents on the side here that are just massive and kind of reminds me of the Seeker Mold or maybe Jetfire. And then he's got a couple of horns on top. Just, I mean, it's Hot Rod. He should have a whole bunch of flames on him. I, I don't know. And then his alt mode really isn't doing it for me, but it's not the worst alt mode I've seen. I like the details on the top, the little tiny touches. I think that's a nice uh, idea. Uh, the blue windscreen just looks a little too low for me. It looks like no one can drive it. But around it, it doesn't have a lot of paint. But it does remind me of something from the 80s itself. Because it's very boxy and very techno like that, I guess. Um, just something about it feels like it comes from the 80s. Which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, yeah I, I guess it's okay. And then last but not least for this is Clobber. And I don't like Clobber. I've gone on record to say I think Clobber is a bad idea. And that's not just coming from me on the aspect of, oh, I'm a G1-er, but for animated or anything like that. It's just, I don't know why you have a character that is so much like Lugnut, but then you decide not to do Lugnut. Like, when people saw the Transformers anime, or Transformers anime, Transformers Cyberverse uh, Season 2 trailer, Everyone freaked out because, oh my god, it's Lugnut! And then people realized, wait, why does it sound like a woman? Which, I, I think it's fine to gender swap certain characters, like the Seekers. You know, I, I think it was fine for Acid Storm to be a female. I'm totally open to that. Um, as well as other various Seekers. I, I wish we could get more like that. Uh, I'm glad that one of the main characters for the Decepticons was uh, Shadow Striker and Slipstream. And uh, we even had a couple of Autobots, RC, Windblade, Chromia, blah, blah, blah. I wish there was more like that. But it's just, I can't stop looking at this and think we could have had Lugnut, but they just decided, let's not do that. I don't know. Because it's an entirely different character, I can kind of let it slide, but... I'm just a little disappointed by it. I'm also going to lower this a little bit so you can actually see the head. The head sculpt is a little weird to me. Um, it's just kind of 
dopey and lumpy, I guess. It's just, I, I don't know. There's something really off about it. Um, it looks decent overall as a lug nut. <laughs> and she comes with this blaster thing that is okay. Um, it, it's fine. <laughs> And uh, she's also got this Energon armor thing that I think actually looks fine. It kind of spreads itself out, which I think is a nice touch. And she looks like she's got some sort of face helmet mask thing that looks like something from a, a video game. Or kind of reminds me of Bulkhead in a way. Uh, it looks like he, she's got that giant chin thing. Um, so, yeah, that's decent. I, I do like the claws on this, and, and the paintwork is actually decent. And for her alt mode, this is where people say, oh, this is kind of confusing. She transforms into this tank thing, so they couldn't even get the alt mode right. Um, but I, I don't necessarily mind the tank mode when I first saw it. I was like, what the hell are they thinking? But I could also see this as being a hover tank. Because people were upset that she's got the wings. But if it's a hover tank, I think that's okay. Um... Oh, and one thing I want to point out is that she seems to be the best articulated figure from this lineup so far. Uh, with these Energon armor pieces or whatever. But, yeah, I wish, again, this was the lug nuts. It's got so many traits from it, but whatever, I guess. It is what it is. I, I guess I should just accept it and stop complaining. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's, it's okay. I would probably get this toy out of any of them except for the shockwave because simply it's a shockwave but uh, i'm just not into most of these toys if anything it's going to be those deluxe toys that we talked about earlier uh the hot rod and you know the megatron shockwave bumblebee and optimus that i briefly touched on um you know what actually she reminds me of i'm gonna get it if i can it's uh behind another Halo Megablox set, so let me just put this thing. This looks like a uh, Covenant Elite sword. Pretty sure people have mentioned that before. Uh, trying to put this somewhere. Uh, you know what she reminds me of? Let me bring this out. She reminds me of a Covenant Wraith. So, in that respect, I kind of like it, but... Eh. Anyway, so that's my opinion on the Transformers Cyberverse toys. I'll quickly see the chat. I've heard they couldn't use the name for Lugnut for some reason. She doesn't really act like him in the show, so I don't really see a, a problem. She just looks like him. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I, I just feel like she should have been Lugnut. If they couldn't get the name, I guess that's fine, but eh. Uh, the Energon gimmick looks okay. I think it's okay, but it would have been better if they just had attachments that would plug onto the toys because in that way you could swap it out with some of the figures, much like what they're doing with the Spark Armor toys. And it doesn't disrupt the overall toy. I get why they want to do this as like a quick change thing, a quick flip thing. It's like, oh, it's being powered up that fast, but eh. Every time, I don't understand that. It's funny, I thought the Cyberverse figures were going to get better with those new articulated deluxe figures, but then these are the new reveals. Well, here's the thing, they didn't stop any of the uh, Warrior Class toys, any of the, well, actually, I'm not sure if they stopped the Warrior Class toys. I don't think they are, but who knows. Anyways. They're not going to stop the Ultra Class Toys, the Ultimate Class Toys, the One Steps, the Scouts. Actually, I haven't heard anything from the Scouts uh, in a while. But uh, I, I don't think they're going to stop those. It's just a matter of they want to add something to the more collector audience. Or at least the older um, audience who uh, can get into these uh, Cyberverse characters and toys. But want something a little more complex. I'll have my own opinion if I please. I haven't even commented on what he has to say. Learn to read. If you don't like what Brian has to say, then you should... What? I, I, I don't know what's going on.
Lack of stream interactions making me wonder why you're streaming at all, mate. I, I don't know. I, I didn't really realize that chatting with the, the stream is an important part of streaming. Like, it, it you, you can't stream without... Like, you have to read the chat to stream? I, I don't... I don't get what you're saying. I, I can stream without directly talking to the chat. I, I wanted to focus on talking about these myself before I go to the chat. And that's kind of the whole point. But sometimes I don't, I don't even read the chat for these streams. Sometimes I'm just talking to friends on, on, on a stream. Like, I got other people involved. So I, I didn't know that talking to the chat was a requirement for streams. I, I don't get what... I don't understand your point. Halo 2 theme plays, da da da! Actually, I'm pretty sure that's a... I wouldn't say a Halo Reach. Maybe Halo 3 said? I, I can't remember. What happened? I missed the stream. Um, or what I missed. Uh, basically, we're just talking about some of the Transformer Cyberverse toys. It's kind of the point, yeah. Why not just make a video and reply to comments? Because I don't have to. That's, no, that's not the point. Some people stream without even mentioning or talking to the comments at all. Or the chat. It's not the point. The point is to do this live. You know? That, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, a, a chat is there. But... I don't really have to. I could pretty much just put this down and ignore the chat entirely if you want. Um... So, who wants to talk about- Oh, she's got a green Decepticon logo! I didn't even notice that. Huh. Uh, let's see. I mean, some interaction with the viewer sometimes would be kind of nice. Okay, but I said that I was just talking about the news. And the whole point of this was, as I said, I'm going to be working on the Black Arachnia review. So I want to do this quickly. So, basically I'm just doing this because I like you guys and I'm just talking on the chat. Ah, uh, female Lugnut looks cool. I forget her real name. It's Clobber. As someone responded to in all caps. It's his channel. Let him do what he wants. It's my body. It's my choice. Uh, but yeah, so I guess just comment below what you guys think if you're watching this afterwards. Um, but yeah, this is just my opinions and basically the whole point of me doing this live stream is to see if I can just make it easier for myself and talk about news. Because for the past little while, I've wanted to talk about certain points, certain news stories, but I just haven't had the opportunity to do so because I've been working on reviews as well as other stuff. Uh, I had the Toy Fair going, so I had to, um, I had to keep my capture card clear and I had to restrict myself from making so much content uh, just to make sure that I had enough space on my computer and my capture card to do certain things. So that's the whole point of this, is kind of to test out it and see if anyone wants to... Um, or doesn't mind me doing videos like this. In Canada, get the exclusives at Toys R Us. Uh, funny enough, I did see that the select smokescreen and hotshot were at Toys R Us online. Okay, but then you guys were arguing about that criticism. Okay, but... See, that, that's the thing, and I'm not saying you specifically. Is that when some people come and they... They criticize something that I'm doing. Sometimes when I counter it... 
they think that it's like an attack or I'm just going, no, 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 I'm not listening or something. Like, just because I, I'm arguing about it, I'm upset or you're the bad guy or something like that. I, I don't know. I'm very tired. It's 11 p.m. So if I'm not making too much sense, then that's fine. But basically... See, if I I knew about this beforehand, I, I would have just talked about it early on. or I, I would have made a better argument on it, but... Uh, I don't know, I, I guess I'm just caught off guard with that, because that really wasn't the point of what I was doing. Do what you want, or uh, do what you do, I will watch. But uh, sometimes I just let the chat talk to themselves, you know? And I don't think that's a bad thing. Can we get back on the subject of Cyberverse? Uh, I've enjoyed this stream regardless of whether you're talking to us or not. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyways, some of these videos, uh, some of these live chats, I might not talk to the chat. Uh, just because I quickly want to uh, reflect my opinion on this and I want to make TF Talks much easier for me and just bring them out. Um, which might not seem too fair, but... Uh, I just really want to see if I can do these quickly, you know. I might do in a minute the TF Talk stuff, or TF Talk, TF Con stuff, but we'll have to wait and see. And when I do, I'm likely not going to talk to the chat just because there's a lot of stuff that I have to talk about in that. So. Thank you. It's my body, I will do what I want with it. Anyways. Uh, so with that out of the way, I think that I've got to record a review. Uh, I, I've already done the lines for it. If anyone's wondering what it is, I got the Jazz animated toy from I Am Amazing Mason, but then I also had another animated toy that I purchased from him. And in case you're wondering who it is, there you go. So, with that out of the way, I gotta work on that. Um, again, I might restart this to do TFCon stuff, but I'll decide that after. So, with that out of the way, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's spend do dads. And I will see you guys next time.